We understand that Carlo Angelotti has been holding talks in London with Farhad Mashiri and the Everton board over a possible move to Merseyside as the rumours continue abound. This is a massive deal for Everton if they can get it over the line. Yeah, I kind of, and I was saying to you, I, I, I kind of scratched my head at how, what can he fit both are for each other. Because I never felt when Ancelotti was named as one of the supposed faces for the Arsenal job, I couldn't quite see that either because it's such, because Arsenal's such a big rebuild. And as you know, he's been going to clubs that, you know, PSG, Chelsea, Real Madrid, even Napoli, who, you know, Sarri left a pretty much an already built side. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. These, where, where you think of Ancelotti, who is, by the way, a, somebody who the players respect because not only for what he's achieved as a manager and as a player, but I think he's a very approachable, he's what I would call a player's manager. Somebody who's not, you know, he's not standoffish. Uh, but he's always been going to clubs where it's been, in general, been about walking in, cajoling the big egos and getting them playing. As you know, the two clubs I mentioned, and particularly Everton, it's probably going to be another rebuild. Because he, even somebody like him is not going to go in and this, this, this group of 15 or 16 players is all of a sudden going to be turned into uh, some team challenging for the top four. It's not going to happen like that. However, I can see the point from Everton's point of view because I think, right, OK, we've been down the road of a few different managers le uh, recently. It hasn't worked. Who's the biggest name out there in the market at the moment? Who's the most high profile that we think we can get? And, and this is it. And I think they'll be hoping that one contacts in Italy and around Europe for bringing players in. Managerial experience. And then obviously they're going to have to open a checkbook for him as well. And he's going to have to look at that squad. Now you see a lot more of Everton than me. And look at and think, right, who do I need to get rid of? And the answer to that is probably going to be, for him, quite a few, which is not going to be easy. But if Everton do go and do that, I think it's a good statement. You can see why they're doing it right, because of that idea of him being effectively a magnet in the club, not just for players to come in from outside, but essentially to focus all of the efforts of those on the recruitment side to say, well, you know what, we might have mentioned X, Y and Z as, as players who might be possibles here and here are the fees and this is what it's going to cost for the wages and everything. You'll just go, nah, yeah, no. And, and yeah. suddenly it becomes a very simple, a simple process of saying, let's just please Carlo. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think there's any point in bringing Carlo Ancelotti into a football club like Everton and then scrimp on money. Right. I, I, I just don't see the... I think that's a big waste of time. If you're going to scrimp on the money, go get yourself a young guy who's up and coming and might sort of build for the future, bring some younger guys through. I'm not saying he won't do that, uh, he, or he won't look to bring younger players through or anything like that. However, if you're going to go for a high-profile, high-earning manager who's been there, uh, seen it and done it, go and back him on the football side of it as well and, and bring in a better quality player than what they have and use his contacts. I think that's something that Everton fans are going to be hoping that if he gets the job, that's, that's going to happen. Because otherwise, it's just, a, it's just a giant waste of time. If you say to him, come in, this is what you have to work with, see what you can do with it. That's half-hearted, and Everton have to stop being half-hearted about it. And I think that would be a big no from him anyway. So the idea is... About getting guarantees. He's probably on the fence about the guarantees, and if they provide evidence that that's going to happen for him, you could see him taking it. Out. Well, I don't uh, know about uh, the financial fair play side of things because I'm never quite uh, clear how all that sort of figures out and, and, and I'm really not interested, uh, <laughs> if the truth be known. But we know Everton, the ownership, have the money to spend if they want to. We know they need to get players out, but we know they have money to spend. So that would be the guarantees, I think, would be control of transfers, pretty much, uh, control of big decisions and a guarantee that we can spend and bring in the right players. I think he would just say, look across the city, bring a big high profile manager in, you recruit properly, you get your just rewards. Recruit poorly, like, like Everton and Arsenal have done, and then you get the scenario that they, both those clubs are in. So it would be a big statement for Everton Football Club, uh, but I think it would be a positive one for the supporters and an easy one to buy uh, for people to uh, accept that they've made the best decision for the club uh, and something to look forward to rather than scraping around in the bottom half of the table, which is not, as you know, where Everton should be. Right, so Everton have done the hard work in a sense. They've got him 
Across from them, on the table, now they've got to convince him that Everton is the place for Carlo Angelotti. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.